They were saying the same thing. Giving the same chorus. You could put all the stations together and just hear the same, same thing, same thing. Every one of them. We love Biden. I love Biden. We love Biden. I love Biden. Hello, my amazing viewers. Welcome back to my channel, Agape TV, your favorite TV. We are glad to have you here. So in the episode of today's video, we are right here with the highly esteemed man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome, who goes on to share his thoughts about how most of the news channels goes on with the narrative of how they love Joe Biden, which is not true. And then he goes on to give a breakdown using scriptural reference he gives us a narrative using the scripture and then which later turned around to him talking about donald trump i bet you guys this is an interesting video to watch kindly stay tuned and if, if you're coming to my channel for the first time don't forget to hit the subscribe button we'll be right back thank you chapter 18 in verse 18 it tells us about two kings, Ahab and Jehoshaphat. Ahab was king of Israel, Jehoshaphat king of Judah. And they want to go to war. And Jehoshaphat says to King Ahab, Can we consult with the prophet of God in the land so we know the will of God here? And Ahab said, Oh, I got a lot of prophets. So he brought many prophets. <clears throat> and they came before the two kings and prophesied and prophesied and prophesied. And they all said the same thing. They said, go to Ramoth Gilead. Go. Go to Ramoth Gilead. So, they're about to go to war. Who is inspiring this war? Like who provoked David to number Israel? So who is inspiring this war? So they get prophets and all these prophets are saying the same thing. Yeah, go to Ramad Gilead. You will be victorious. Go to Ramad Gilead. And Jehoshaphat is sitting by King Ahab. He is not convinced. So <laughs> with all of these prophets, he says to Ahab, Do you have any, any other prophet in this place? And Ahab says, oh yeah, there's one very bad one. He says, that one always prophesies bad things about me. Jehoshaphat says to him, please let the king not say so. Let's send for him. So they sent for the prophet Micaiah. And Micaiah came. It was an interesting one. The man who was sent to go call him, while they were on the way, said to him, now, now, Micaiah, he said, look, better prophesy accordingly. He says, there is a narrative, there's a prophetic narrative that has been established. There's a prophetic narrative that has been established. So, when you get there, please confirm. Say the same thing, you hear them. So, he says, okay. Oh, this is not what God tells me to say, I will say. I say, I, I know, that's, that's why we called you. So, when he got there, he listened. And all of them, same narrative. 32, 32, 33, 33. <laughs> so it was the same narrative. The vaccine works. The vaccine works. It cures. It protects. You take this vaccine, you never have COVID. So, same narrative. So... Ahab said, Micaiah, come out here. Micaiah came out. said, tell us, shall we go to Ramoth Gilead 
or not? He said, O oh, king, live forever. Continue your way to Ramot Gilead. Ahab was not happy because he had already said, he doesn't say the same thing. Now, how many times have I warned you? Really, this is the Bible. He asked, he said, how many times have I warned you? So only tell me the truth. He said, I said you should go to Ramot Gilead. Nonetheless, I saw a vision. Now, Ahab is Okay, now. I saw a vision. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. <laughs> and the host of heaven gathered around him. And God said, Who will provoke Ahab to go to Ramoth Gilead and fall? And die. And a spirit came before the Lord and said, I will. And God said to him, How are you going to do it? And the spirit said, I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. I will be a lying spirit. In the mouth of his obscurantist, mendacious media. And they will say the same thing. Yes, sir. Can you see that? Yes. One spirit yes. became the lying spirit in the mouths of all the prophets. And there were hundreds of them. It says, I will be a lying spirit in their mouths. And they will have the same narrative. I told you that demon spirits were at work in those media houses. And they didn't know how they were stumbling. How could they have been so foolish? Yes, because demons make people foolish. They were saying the same thing. Giving the same chorus. You could put all the stations together and just hear the same, same thing, same thing, same thing. Like what they were saying just last week, uh, uh, two weeks ago now. Yeah. We love Biden. They were told to say, we love Biden. So they were, every one of them, we love Biden. I love Biden. We love Biden. I love Biden. They couldn't make a statement without saying, I love Biden. It was written and given to them. Say, I love Biden. You ask him to step down. You said you want him to step down. I will love Biden. We want him to step. He did a fabulous job. You knew he didn't do a fabulous job. He did a fabulous job. No, he didn't do a fabulous job. We know what, what, what happened to the world. Rabaga Sota Koramatiya. Because they're the ones encouraging the Davos Club and, 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 and the, the, the EU leaders, NATO, UN, WHO. Because a lying spirit has been functioning in the mouths of their prophets. So that's what the Bible tells us. Second Chronicles chapter 18. Look at verse 18. Again, he said, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one spake, saying after this manner, another saying after that manner. Then there came out a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? 
And he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And the Lord said, thou shalt entice him and thou shalt also prevail. Go out and do even so. Now, some people say, oh, but how come the Lord was... It's a vision. It's a vision. You have to understand. It's a vision. And because it's a vision... The truth of it will be there, not necessarily the way it played out in heaven. Alright? Visions can be symbolic. But this was the message. So you have to, when you have a vision, what's the message? What's the message of that vision? Alright. Look at the next verse. Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of these thy prophets and the Lord hath spoken evil against thee. Then Zedekiah the son of Canaanah came near and smote Micaiah upon the cheek. He gave him a slap and said, which way went the spirit of the Lord from me to speak unto thee? You know, Zedekiah was one of the prophets who had been prophesying, go, go, go. So he says, ah, he slapped him. By slapping him, that should tell you that something is wrong with this prophet. Yes, sir. He says, which way went the spirit of the Lord from me to speak unto thee? And Micaiah said, behold, thou shalt see on that day. Did Micaiah slap him back? No. Learn from Micaiah there. Behold, thou shalt see on that day when thou shalt go into an inner chamber to hide thyself. Then the king of Israel said, Take him, Micaiah, and carry him back to Ammon, the governor of the city, and to Joash, the king's son. And say, Thus said the king, Put this fellow in the prison, and feed him with bread of affliction, and with water of affliction, until I return in peace. And Micaiah said, If thou certainly return in peace, then hath not the Lord spoken by me. And he said, hearken all ye people. Does everyone listen to that? So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, went up to Ramoth Gilead. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, I will disguise myself. Look at that guy. Look at this smart guy. Can you see him? He says, I will disguise myself and will go to the battle, but put on thy robes. So the king of Israel disguised himself and he went to the battle. So that he will be mistaken for the king. Wicked man. Look at the next verse. Now the king of Syria, they are at war with Syria. The king of Syria had commanded the captains of the chariots that were with him, saying, Fight ye not with small or great, save only with the king of Israel. See? But he's disguised himself, so how are they going to find him? And it came to pass when the captains of the chariots saw Jehoshaphat that they said, It is the king of Israel. Therefore they compassed about him to fight. But Jehoshaphat cried out, and the Lord helped him. And God moved them to depart from him. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. God moved them to depart from him. As he moved Trump's head. Glory be to God. Look at the next. For it came to pass that when the captains of the chariots perceived that it was not the king of Israel, they turned back again from pursuing him. And a certain man, I want to read this part of it to you in the NIV because of the word venture there, so that you know what it's talking about. Okay? Look at it in the NIV. Just same verse. Where's the guy? Good. But someone drew his bow at random. And it hit the king of Israel between the sections of his armor. At random. The Bible says, The Lord knoweth them that are his. Yes, sir. 
He knows those that belong to him. Someone drew his bow at random. And it hit the king of Israel. Between the sections of his armor. The king told the chariot driver, Wait around and get me out of the fighting. I have been wounded. Look at the next verse. All day long the battle raged. And the king of Israel propped himself up in his chariot. Facing the Arameans until evening. Then at sunset he died. According to the words of Micaiah the prophet. Painful. Because he listened to all those people with their narratives, but a lying spirit was in their mouths. See that? The lying spirits had put words in their mouths. Lying narratives. Paid to lie. All right, my viewers, there you have it with the man of God and person of Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome. We all have heard what he has to say, and I believe, apart from the mention of Donald um, Joe Biden, from the scriptural references he gave, we all learned one or two things from what he said. Thank you guys for listening. See you in our next video. And if you're coming from my, to my channel for the first time, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you and God bless you.